One of the best known horror franchises of all time produced some pretty amazing soundtracks over the years ever since its first conception back in 1996. Resident Evil helped usher in not just a new era in scary games, but even overall helped revolutionize gaming as we know it today. It wasn't just the atmosphere and the enemies, but also the memorable soundtrack, which got an entire makeover in its re-release in 1998 in the form of the DualShock version of Resident Evil Director's Cut. I call that Capcom just being Capcom. Looking at the multiple re-releases of Street Fighter 2, we should be happy that DLC exists today so that it's easier to avoid rebuying the same game over and over with just a couple of tweaks. One notable controversy that came out of the DualShock release of Resident Evil was the hiring of a new composer who was supposedly deaf. You most likely already know that controversy if you keep up with the bigger channels that have already covered that story. All I ask is, how did it get passed for approval? Did anyone at all in Capcom actually listen to it? I think Jordan Underneath described it best. I mean, who wouldn't love a song composed by Piano Cat pounding on a keyboard in collaboration with a fat, drunken walrus? A theme like this is best used in a comedy scene where two drunks stumble into the wrong person's home and forget the pizza rolls in the toaster oven while passing out to infomercials in a puddle of their own vomit. The theme is really bad and just unfitting given the IP that it's made for. Or is it? In my opinion, all the right notes are there. They just decided to go with the wrong instruments. Back in 2015, a YouTuber under the screen name Agent Red Jackal uploaded their remix of a keyboard to transform the very same notes into more of a ghostly ambient theme, making it far spookier than the original. Give it a listen. In all seriousness, I think this track composed in this exact way would have been much more fitting for an upstairs theme or even for the main hall theme. There's just a certain amount of shock and dread that you want to convey for a basement theme, which the original theme captured perfectly. Thank you for watching this much shorter video. My name is Luke the Kook. Mm -hmm.